James Smith says he's been working with Issaquena County Correctional Facility for 23 years. In just two years, he's set to retire. But if the jail closes this year, Smith says he fears what will happen with his retirement and his future in the small county. I may make it with my time, the time that I have up. I may and I may not. I don't really know it right at this moment. I know it'll hurt this community and it'll hurt me because I've been here all these years and I'm getting to the age now where you know, it's going to be hard for somebody to hire me at my age. Smith is just one of the facility's 53 employees, all sharing the same fear. The Issaquina Jail has remained a huge source of employment in one of the poorest counties in Mississippi. Um, I had no idea that we were in this situation because we really don't know anything else. We just basically know everything that you see on the news and you read in the paper. We're told the Issaquina Board of Supervisors met today on the future of the facility, although no official decision was made. Currently, the jail houses 320 inmates. If the facility closes, the inmates will have to go elsewhere. I mean, I can't say whether where they'll be placed. I mean, I can tell you that. Praying that the, the supervisor make the right decision because it, it's going to impact the whole community. As a matter of fact, this is the only thing that we have uh, in the county. Sheriff Jones says he was told the jail began having financial trouble in January. He recalls that when the facility was state-owned, it got $29.94 per inmate per day. Now the facility is being run by the county. It gets $25.61 per inmate. Jones says he hopes more money will be delegated towards the facility so it won't have to shut its doors. There are other jails that, uh, that are going to be facing the same uh, problem that we have and that we can get our per diem up like we, uh, like we, like we want them. Uh, once the uh, uh, legislators can, can uh, allocate enough money for us to do that, hope that they, they can uh, see the burden that we have and uh, they can take all that under consideration and, and give us what we need to, to go. Sheriff Jones says the next board meeting is three days away, in which they only need a three of five supervisors to vote in favor of keeping this facility open. For now in Issaquina County, Shea O'Connor, 12 News.